Hi guys, it's Sherry here and today I would like to do a makeup tutorial, but first I'm going to talk a little bit about Ipsy. Ipsy is an organization that puts together makeup bags or boxes depending on what plan you buy, uh, full of makeup products such as face masks, hair masks, uh, nail polishes, and uh, other makeup products and brushes as well. Uh, the bag, it's uh, the, just the bag I believe is $10 and the box is $25 I think. Um, but it'll tell you the prices for sure when you go onto the website and you uh, create your own personal profile. And in order to do that, you just answer a few simple questions about your skin color, skin tone, texture, uh, hair type, texture, everything like that. Uh, your color preferences and what brands you would mo most prefer to have, like the ones you've used before. Um, and they put together a bag based off of that profile, which is a really, really cool thing and I really do enjoy it a lot. So, um, today I'm going to be doing, from my makeup tutorial, I'm going to be doing a nice, um, full glam party look. So we're going to go, like, when I say full glam, I mean full glam, cut crease everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some moisturizer. We want to moisturize our face to make sure that the foundation goes on smoothly and, uh, there's no dry patches or anything. So I'm using this Ahava... Uh, time to hydrate essential day moisturizer for normal to dry skin and it's a ipsy exclusive I put a little bit on my finger and I'm gonna warm it up between my fingers and blend that into my skin I'm trying to avoid the nose ring because I almost ripped it out yesterday on accident. I'm gonna try to like not put a lot of pressure on my nose ring. Probably should have taken it out before I did my makeup, but that's okay. All right. Now, now that the moisturizer is all absor absorbed into my skin, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild foundation uh, in the shade Nude Ivory. And just pop that all over my face and then I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend that out into the, the moisturizer. Now that I have the foundation all blended out, I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm going to use this Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Light. I'm just apply that to the inner corner of my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to go in with this contour palette right here and a nice flat, uh, 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 a nice uh, angled brush, pick up some of this shade right here. And then I'm gonna take the same beauty blender and blend all this out. Starting with the concealer. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that contour.
so and then I'm gonna go in with some HD setting powder by elf and the shade translucent and a nice fluffy brush I'm just gonna whoa that's a lot of powder I'm just gonna set all of this in place Now I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this GG Gorgeous bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade right here and a nice angled bronzing brush and I'm just going to go and apply this to places that I applied the contour to. Lightly so it's not too bronzed. Okay, now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use this, I dropped it, this Ofra palette right here and I'm going to use this blush shade right here and a nice fluffy brush and just pat that onto my cheeks to give a natural uh, redness to the face. I'm going to do that to the cheeks and the nose as well, just to make it look more natural. Like so. Then I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty's uh, highlighting palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here. This is the uh, Santorini shade. And a nice fluffy brush. I'm gonna apply that to my cheekbones and my nose. Like so. Alright, now getting to the eyes. I'm gonna go in with a brow pencil. I still need the mirror. Why did I put that down? Um, anyway, I'm gonna go with a brow pencil. Um, this doesn't have a company name or a shade on it, so I don't know where it came from. I don't remember when I got this. Uh, but you're gonna draw a line underneath your eyebrows or on the bottom part of your eyebrows and I'm following the natural arch of my eyebrows um, you can change the arch of your eyebrow if you want I like my natural shape though, so like so do the same thing for the other eyebrow. Like so, and then I'm gonna go in with a uh, tinted brow gel, and I'm gonna use this uh, in studio brow gel in the shade light brown and just run that through the eyebrows. Alright, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use this Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer and I'm going to just prime my eyes with that for eyeshadow. Using a beauty blender to blend that out.
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with this Nomad palette. And it has an uh, array of different colors. And I'm going to go with um, this black, this brown, and this silver right here. And then, yeah. So we're going to go in with a nice, where's my fluffy brushes? I'm going to need this one. I'm just getting all my brushes ready. There's a fluffy brush. Okay. Take this fluffy brush and that this brown shade right here. And we're going to pop that into the crease only. And it's okay if it gets a little below the crease. Um, we'll clean that up with concealer, but we really want it like as close to the crease as possible without really getting it everywhere else. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush and that black shade, just pick up a tiny little bit, and just apply that to the crease itself again. But blend it into that brown so it's more of an even transition color. Like so. Okay, now we're going to go in with a nice small brush and some of that concealer again, and we're going to cut the crease. So I'm going to do one eye at a time, just so the concealer doesn't dry on the eyelid. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with this dual ended brush and use the bigger flatter side and pick up that silver shade and just, there, there's a mirror right here, and just apply that to the concealer. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this eye with that silver, pack that onto the concealer, and then I'm going to use this dual, the other side, and I'm going to pick up that brown and run that along my lower lash line. And 
and then I'm going to take a um, less dense fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up that red shade and just apply that to the a little bit to the inner corner of the eyes. Like so. Alright, time for eyeliner. So I'm going to go in, actually it's time for mascara, I'm going to do mascara first. I'm going to go in with this Dose Punk Volumizer Mascara and apply that to my lashes. And now I'm going to go in with this uh, Tarte Tardiest double sided eyeliner. This one is a pencil and then this side is liquid eyeliner and I'm going to use the pencil side first and I'm going to line my waterline. So I'm just going to gently pull down on my eyelid and just line the waterline with the pencil. Now I'm going to take the liquid eyeliner side and do a nice cat eye, or a nice wig. And then because this is a nice party look, I'm going to go in with this lipstick right here. And this is uh, Lime in the shade Asphalt. It's a nice purpley grayish color. And that is it. So for the eyes, we did a nice neutral crease with a silver um, lid, a nice winged eyeliner, a little bit of mascara, and a little bit of eyeliner. For the eyebrows, we filled them in with a uh, brow pencil and tinted brow gel. We contour and contoured and bronzed and highlighted and blushed up my the face. For the lips, we did a nice grayish purpley color. Uh, and that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and comment down below and subscribe to see more and I'll see y'all ne next time. Bye.